to our second initiative. So this is all about sharing. So this is an occasion to introduce a man that you should meet. He's our CTO and my co-founder and very good friend, Bernd, Bernd Roggendorf. He can't come out to Los Angeles, and that's why we made a little movie, where he's going to show you his latest brainchild. Over the last few years, music technology, affordable computers, and software like Ableton Live have done a lot to empower musicians. For musical collaboration, however, things haven't improved much at all. We have fast internet connections and global networks, but still, it's tedious to make music with somebody who is not in the same room as you. Creating music with others is something very special. Music technology should support it as much as possible. Therefore, Ableton Live 8 includes the first beta version of our new web technology, a one-stop solution for sending live sets to collaborators and sharing them with the public. Let's say Alice wants to work on some music with Bob. Alice lives in Germany and Bob lives in the States. Current technologies provide two basic options. Option one, Alice can send a mix down of her song. There are some really good solutions for sharing mix downs across the web. But a mix down is locked. Bob can't change the sounds, rearrange the parts, or do very much at all. But how about option two? She can send Bob a complete music project. But music projects are complicated. There are lots of files, unexpected dependencies, and we are talking about big file sizes. Alice needs to pack everything together and send it via FTP or email. This means sending gigabytes of data over and over again, not to mention all the things that can go wrong. She's only going to do this if she really has to. Those options are limited. For making music together via the internet, we will need a more convincing solution. We thought about this and we came up with something. In Live 8, there's a new command called Share Live Set. This automatically gathers and transmits Alice's live set to the Ableton server. It all happens in the background, so she can carry on making music. It's simple and fast, because only the files that are not already on the server get uploaded. Now Alice's set lives on the web. It gets a dedicated web page and a unique web link. Here she can decide who gets her set. She can be private and just share it with Bob. Or she can go public and share it with the world. She can put her public sets on MySpace, Facebook, in her forum post, anywhere on the web. But in our case, Bob gets a notification email. He clicks the link, live starts automatically, and downloads Alice's set. Live only downloads the files that Bob doesn't already have on his hard drive. This is a huge time saver for bouncing a song back and forth with someone. Alice can even share her set and collaborate with people who don't own life. They automatically get a free, time-limited license, so they can get started on the track right away. So now Alice can make music with Bob, and you can make music with anybody in the world. From now on, sharing live sets.